so hello guys welcome back to another video of scientific molecules today we are going to do the next part of knowing more about the universe so if you haven't watched the other episodes of this series please make sure to watch those episodes so i hope you will enjoy this video please make sure to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and with no more talking let's get right into the video So the fact one is that the sun is a medium sized star and categorized as a G2 dwarf star because of its size heat and chemical makeup this means that every star has its own categories based on their size shape and other factors so in this case the sun is known as a G2 star because of certain factors those factors are its complex chemistry which means it includes chemical which are heavier than helium then its temperatures which range from 5000 degrees celsius to 6000 degrees celsius so now let's move to fact 2 are you interested in knowing how much will you weigh if you were on the sun instead of on the earth even if we can't stay on the sun due to its high temperature we can calculate how much will we weigh on the planets or any sun in the universe this is calculated based on the gravity that a planet or a sun exerts and based on the weight of an average man so if you calculate on the basis of these facts then if a person weighs 150 pounds on earth their weight will be 4200 pounds on the sun this is because the gravity on the sun is 28 times greater than the gravity on the earth next fact is that the solar activities will change on some periods of time these times are called solar maximum it occurs in every 11 years during this time the north magnetic pole becomes the south pole and vice versa the sun spots that are on the sun explode hurling massive clouds of gas known as cms through the solar system so let's move on to the fact 4 fact 4 is that the energy radiated by the sun changes on time even if this change is a small value the change will increase in a long period of time but these changes are not much great to change the earth's conditions next fact is one of the most interesting fact that you may have known the sun will actually become the size as similar as the size of the earth yes it is true by the time the sun has completed its red giant phase it will collapse it will retain its mass but become dense with the same volume as that of the earth and when this will happen the sun will become a white dwarf star next fact is that the diameter of the sun is approximately 400 times larger than the diameter of the moon but we can fail this because of the similarity between the distance and the size from earth sun and moon it is because the distance from the earth to the moon is 400 times lesser than the distance from the earth to the sun so we will feel like the sun and moon is somewhat similar in size next fact is that the sun is an average star this means that there are many other stars which are hotter and cooler than the sun however the sun looks more brighter and bigger than other stars from earth because the sun is the closest star to the earth next fact is that the sun is neither solid nor gaseous yes unlike the planets the sun is not a solid or gaseous form but it is in the form of plasma so this means that the sun is gaseous near the surface but gets denser towards the core next fact is about sunspots 
The sunspots are actually the darker but cooler areas on the surface of the sun. They occur on the photosphere layer of the sun and are caused by the interaction with the sun's magnetic field which have not yet been understood completely. Sunspots are actually cooler but it appears darker on the surrounding areas of it. So we have come to the last fact in this video. The last fact of this video is that the prominences that flare out from the sun are bright and gaseous in nature. These filaments reach out and extend towards outer space. If seen at sides of the sun's disk, these filaments appear much brighter than the darkness of space. So that was the last fact of this video and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't watched the other parts of this series, please make sure to go and watch those. And I hope you will be safe. Thank you again. See you in the next video. Goodbye.